As we have heavily reported over the past week, while Ghostbuster fans within North America and the United Kingdom patiently wait for their replica HasLab Plasma Series Spengler's Proton Packs to begin shipping, select international buyers who back the crowdfunding campaign through third-party vendor Zavi have already started to receive a shipment. And if you're anything like us and are currently without this licensed unlicensed nuclear accelerator, today's feature it is for you. As German franchise group Ghostbusters Rugbeat has provided an excellent overview and unboxing of the Proton Pack, along with the various pack-in accessories. In fact, Ghostbusters Rugbeat, they were nice enough to send along those videos for us to feature right here on the Ghostbusters News YouTube channel. So once again, for those that are still waiting, sit back and enjoy this sneak peek and unboxing video. When you open it, you have this, what you have seen in the Haslab preview. You slide it open and it reveals two packages. One with the uh, marshmallow slime to attach on the pack. And this, this is the small trap with the mini puffs. And these should be the stickers. I'll reveal them later. And uh, now when you take all this off from the pack and open the box, you have the proton pack itself. It's wrapped in, in paper. It's packed really well. It comes in two thick um, boxes. So don't be afraid. This won't be hurt in any case. You must drive over it with a tank to destroy it. And that's the pack. All wrapped up. What's missing here, it's somewhere inside the pack, is the iron arm cap and some other parts. But I will show this in the next video. Now as seen there, Hasbro, they kept assembly to a minimum, with only a few items needing to be connected, among them being the iron arm cap and the hose connection for the Neutrona wand. To make it more screen accurate, there's also the option to attach an Alice LC1 frame with all mounting hardware included. That's the stand. I will have to assemble it. Um, then you have these marshmallow attachments. The mini puffs with the changeable heads. All the parts to um, fix, uh, to attach the uh, Alice frame to the, to the pack. The iron arm, sadly you can really see it's plastic and it's only snapped onto the pack. <laughs> For those who need it <laughs> because of some gun law regulations, uh, the red cap for the Spangler wand and the hose. And last but not least, all the other small items you will uh, get with your pack. These are the stickers. Nothing too fancy. Uh, the labels for the 84 star pack. Somewhere in the description on Haslab there was something about metallic. That's far beyond metallic. Then uh, the manual to decide how to put it in the stand, how to assemble the stand, and what other parts you use and how it works. And then there's the Spengler journal. I will look what's inside there this evening with a beer on the couch. As reported on GhostbustersNews.com yesterday, one small surprise accessory came with the unadvertised inclusion of an orange cap for the G1 releases of the Plasma Series Spengler's Neutrona wand. Initially cast in a silver plastic, the wand's original tip is now considered a safety concern. With Hasbro citing that the release of the Proton Pack changes the wand from collector item to roleplay item. And this orange cap pack-in, it will allow for people to use the Neutrona wand freely in cosplay and public environments like comic conventions. Now thus far, really the only big criticism we've been hearing of this pack is the rumble motor, which you're going to hear in a second. But the noise it emits, it is pretty loud, with Ghostbusters Rugbeat comparing it to a mooing cow. I can switch it on now. You will definitely hear the rumble motor. It's uh, this smooth sound in the back. And I think we will have to open the pack and see where the rumble motor is located and if we can like encapsulate it a little bit better so the sound goes away.
For those that may be a bit worried about this, it should be stated that Hasbro made this vibration effect optional. So if you do find it a bit too loud, it can luckily be turned off from a switch found within the cyclotron. Now when it comes to upcoming videos, we hope to soon showcase a video overview of an Alice LC1 frame being attached. So if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube for upcoming coverage. We'd like to once again thank Ghostbusters Rugbeat for today's feature, and for more of their work, you can find them on Instagram and YouTube with those links found down below in this video's description. That's all I've got for you here right now. As always, subscribe. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, check out our Patreon page. A link to that is also down below, and I'll see you right back here next time.